And in today's video, we're going to continue the Enterprise series by showing how to create and run missions using DJI Flight Hub 2. Flight Hub 2 is a system that enables you to create missions online and then transfer them to your Enterprise drone to perform the actual flight. Personally, I prefer creating my missions using a large screen, keyboard and mouse. The little five inch screen on the RC Pro works, but it's a little fiddly for my taste and my finger is just not accurate enough at times on the small screen. Other advantages to creating missions online is that it allows you to run the same mission on multiple devices without actually having to recreate them on each device. You can also assign them to different team members if you have multiple people on your team. So Flight Hub 2 is quite easy to use once you understand the hierarchy, which is that you have to have an organization and then within the organization you have projects and then within projects you have flight routes. And as we'll see later, you can actually have multiple organizations, each with their own set of projects and their own set of flight routes. So I'll take you through how to create each of these and then run them in the field. Flight Hub 2 can do a lot more than that, but for today's video, I'm only going to cover how to create flight routes and then access them from your controller. So let's get to it. Start by logging into Flight Hub 2 at fh.dji.com and then log in with your DJI user ID and password. If you don't see the button to create an organization, then click on your user ID in the top right and select My Organization. On the left, you'll see a button that says Create Organization. Click on that and give your organization a name and then just follow the prompts. Note that you can change the name later, but I have not found a way to delete an org once you've created it. So be careful. If you have more than one organization, then you can switch between them using the drop down at the top left of the screen. Now let's create a project. Click on the projects tab at the top of the screen. Then click on the create project button or use the plus sign at the top next to the words project list. Now give the project a name and a description. You can also add team members and devices here, but it's not required, so we will skip that. Set the point of interest, which is really something to say where this mission will be. By default, it will set things up at your current location. I'm going to do this at a nearby commercial area, so I'm going to have to move over there, click set POI, and then click on where I want the mission to be located. Then click Create Project. Now you're ready to start creating a flight. Click on the Flight Route icon on the left hand side. There are several options available as you can see here. For this demonstration, we're going to create a mapping mission. There is also an import option, but it's not as simple as importing a KML created in Google Earth, so we'll leave that for another time. Instead, click on the plus sign to create a route. Now pick the route type drone you will be using and give it a name. In this case, we're going to be doing a map. On the left hand side, you'll see all the options that are available in the Pilot 2 app. Now click on the map to show where you'll be taking off from. We're going to select above takeoff location and set the altitude to 300 feet. Now click on the map to set the boundaries for the mapping area that we're interested in and click on the check mark to complete. I'm not quite sure why when I did this, it changed my altitude from 300 to 699 feet, but having noticed that we're going to quickly correct that, and put it back to 300 feet. Just a good point to note, always double check your work. If you want to look at the advanced options that are available, you can scroll all the way down and expand the advanced settings section. This is the area where you can change your overlaps and also your target distance. Now click the save icon and we're ready to take this out in the field and go and collect this data. So here we are on site and what I want you to look at is this area that says not logged in to cloud service. This is where we're going to access the missions that we created in the cloud. So we're going to click on that to log in. Click the Flight Hub 2 icon, it's the biggest one by far, and it should automatically log you in with the credentials you used in the Pilot 2 app. 
The sharp-eyed among you will have noticed that the organization name is Avius Media and not Test Org. So click on that to change the organization. Click on Test Org and then pick the project, in this case Express Scripts. Now you've switched over and we're ready to start running things from that project. Now click on Flight Route as you normally would. And now that we're logged in, you'll see that we have a new option at the top next to library that says cloud. Click on that and you're going to see all of the flight routes that were created under that project. Click on the flight route that you're interested in, load it, and it just behaves like a normal mission at this point. You can just upload and start the mission. You will notice that you have this nice little cloud icon next to the flight route data. That lets you know that this was created in the cloud and there are some synchronization options that are available, which we might cover in a future video. Now you just run your mission as normal and collect your data. And that's it. Quite easy to use and certainly something that I found myself using more and more. Anyway, that's it for another video. As always, I love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave a comment or any questions and I will see you in the next video.